37 year old woman from Inkster has learned her sentence in connection with the shooting of her 16 year old son. Back in March, Ebony Schofield got into a verbal argument with her son in their apartment that turned physical. She told her son to leave and while he was outside, he started banging on the door. That's when Schofield went outside and shot her son in the left shoulder. She apologized in court today before learning her punishment. I, I just wanted to apologize to my son and tell him I'm sorry for what happened to him and that I love him with all my heart and I promise that I will never do anything to put him in harm's way again. The mother was sentenced to one to ten years in the Michigan Department of Corrections. Moving to Muskegon, where Jeffrey Willis has been sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Jessica Haranga. He was convicted of kidnapping and killing Haranga more than five years ago. She was abducted while working at a gas station back in 2013, but her body was never found. Before hearing his punishment today, Willis cried as he read an eight-page statement in which he maintained his innocence. He's already serving a life sentence without parole for the 2014 murder of Rebecca Blaish. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was in Detroit today. He drew a connection between his job in international relations and the Detroit economy. Pompeo took center stage at a luncheon for the Detroit Economic Club. The secretary spoke at Ford Field about the role economic development plans in conducting foreign policy. He says promoting American exports like automobiles can benefit the Detroit economy. We'll have more on the secretary's visit in a report coming up on Local 4 News at 6.